Hey, this is a quick tip for Windows on how to launch a particular program when Windows first starts up. This is quite easy to do. All we need to do is right click on the Windows icon in the corner here, select Run from the list, and then we need to type Shell, S H E W -L, L. Then we need to type a colon. That's if you hold down the Shift key and then push the key to the to the right hand side of the letter L. That will give you your two little dots. That's the colon. Make sure it's two dots and not a dot and a comma because that would be a semicolon. So anyway, shell, uh, colon, and then we're going to write startup. That's all one word. No no spaces in, in any of this. Then we just click OK. That will take us to a window where we can put aliases to our programs we want to load when Windows loads. So an alias is like a shortcut. So in this case, I have an exe or an executable a program that I want to launch when Windows first starts up. So I'm just going to drag this exe but before I let go, I'm going to hold down Control and Shift, and you should see it changes to Create Link. Then I can let go of the mouse, and it drops in a shortcut to the program I want to load. So that's how to launch a particular X if you know what you're looking for. But let's say you've got something that's already here, like in my dock. If I right-click on that, and then I right-click again on the program name, I can then go to Properties, and then I can open the file location, and then from here I can do the same. So I could move that XE, hold down Control and Shift. It might already say create a link if you're moving the file from a protected area like program files, but just make sure it says create a link. Make sure you're not moving the XE. So now Thunderbird will launch when my computer turns on. And another way you could do it is from the start menu. So if I click my start menu, I can already see that Acrobat Reader there's in my list of applications. Let's say I want that to launch. I can right click on that. I can go to more. I can go to open file location and I can see in this instance is actually already uh, a shortcut created. So for this uh, instance I can tell it's a shortcut by this little arrow in the corner. I can just move it there, hold down just control so that it says copy and then it's going to copy that shortcut to there. So just make sure that all of your files here have the little shortcut icon so you know you haven't accidentally moved an XE. And that's it really, you just restart. Just um, be aware that having too many programs launch when your computer turns on could cause a bit of a delay so obviously be a bit careful with what you add in there for instance I don't actually want Thunderbird or Acrobat to launch so I'll just leave it like that and you can safely delete these shortcuts they're not going to delete the actual programs that's it really if this tip was useful to you please give me a thumbs up or if you'd like to subscribe please do that thanks for watching